Hello everybody, it's Ezra Time again here and welcome back to the, uh, to another reaction videos and today we're going to be reacting to Fenevis FM The Mission uh, Season 4 Part 14 and we're also going to be reacting to Part 15 um, because there is two more episodes left so I thought that I could just do uh, two episodes in one video just like uh, like I did with Part 1 until 10 uh, this video is only like uh, this or this episode like this is only like four minutes long so I thought that let's just do you know two episodes at one video anyway and the finale is actually nine minutes long I think it's yeah pretty long <laughs> in a way um, so I thought that yeah let's just do uh, two parts in one video so um, without further ado let's just get into the video shall we oh your intro huh well not intro but I guess the the scenery that was really cool though for fan art <laughs> Did you call it fire art? <laughs> I don't know. Always like the intro. A nice introduction to the characters. And I like the background music. I've obviously said that since the beginning. Oh, Haley, Larry the Bunny, Galaxy, Dominant. Okay, wow, there is so many more. <laughs> I guess YouTuber could say that in this video. Well, characters, I guess. Earlier that night. Hmm. <clears throat> Goldie, stay with us. We'll save you. Don't kill him, but I, I, I'll be sure to help. Don't worry about me. Katie, listen. The puppet said we can save him. Let's make a plan and get him by tomorrow. Alright, fine. I'm going inside. If I get caught, I get caught. There's nothing we can do. Come on then. Let's go see the others. I'll see you down there. Alright, well, I'll be a few minutes. <laughs> Hey, it's quite dark tonight. The moon isn't, however. The moon is quite bright. You alright? You seem annoyed. You know what happens during the fight, don't you? Of course you know everything, Puppet. Yes, I know what happens. What happens then? Larry, could you step out for a second, please? Alright, then. Someone dies, not just nightmare. It's one of us. Oh. Come on, we are going to defeat nightmare. Are you ready? Oh, oh shit, yeah, he got a gun. Ready. Let's go. <laughs> Wait there, guys. Goldie, what is it? I'm not gone for forever. You'll see me sooner than you think. We'll save you. I know we will. <laughs> Final show done next week. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go to the next episode, obviously, Haley and Galaxy, uh, Dogen, okay. Um, I wish I remember the name, so sorry. <laughs> I said I'm gonna to Haley, okay. Oh, there was one. God, I hate this. Sorry, guys. Um... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> the four friends, people. There's a sword. Whoa. 
<laughs> oh, you, he stands in, uh, like in a lava or something. Give it up, nightmare. Playtime is over. <laughs> Looks like Little Nightmare is hiding in his cave like a little wimp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no, Larry. Oh. Nice. Oh. It was a lot of ideas. Wasteland. Humanity does not deserve to continue to live on. You're on nightmare. Oh, here we go. Although humanity may be evil and cruel, there's still a good side of the world that cares. You only know one thing, and that's hatred. You never had friends of your own and never will. You are just evil and want to hurt everyone because of your own problems. Me and my friends will stop you even if it means if we die. Oh, damn. Let's go, FNAF Sam Production. Oof. <laughs> Don't you guys get it? I offered you my generous offer and you all spat in my face. Can't you see that I'm only trying to do what's best? I'm getting rid of the trash in this world. And that means wiping out the entirety of humanity, since humans have done nothing but cause harm and destroy this world further. You guys should join me instead and together we can take over the universes and destroy everything as we see fit. Never. You've caused enough problems, it's time to take you out. Once Is that one of those guys that... I knew you were going to listen. You leave me no choice. What? Oh. Checker, why did you do that? Damn. We don't have time for this. Oh. What was that? Oh my the god, end. don't tell me all of them die. Please work with me. We can save the universe. We need to act like we work with Nightmare. Follow me, but don't forget. To well, I after you. everything happened in the last episode, Shadow of Freddy and Chica was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. He is fading away now. He's doing this.
all war is going to cover in darkness now. Oh, that's that's actually pretty cool though. Again, which is um, heavily inspired by Zang to the Seven type of stuff. But it was cool though. And man. Come on guys, you can do this. Ah, no, Golden Frey. Golden Frey just dies, isn't he? <sighs> what have you done? in the chest we did it guys don't worry friend you'll be fine let's just get out of here hmm. oh wow okay that was quick <laughs> I was expecting that to be uh, so long because I know season 5 is coming technically but <laughs> I thought this is gonna be like the ending where Nightmare took over the wall or something But apparently not He is killed apparently Nightmare got killed Oh the PlayStation X Yeah he didn't make it Season up season one to three. Okay, okay, I get it. And I think that's it for season four, guys. Um Okay, okay, I like the fight. The fight is, I think the, the fight is pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of not worried about the game. Um, so that was a season 4 finale, guys. So, hmm, what do I think? I think the fight. It's actually pretty cool, you know. I think this was looks uh, looks badass in some way. I think Haley was the one who was responsible, right, for the the fight scene. Credit goes to him or her, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I like the fight scene. I think it was cool, but I don't know. I think the ending was too sudden in in some way. Like, you know, like all the world suddenly go, goes to dark and all that kind of stuff. And suddenly, the way Nightmare was defeated was is actually defeated by Shadow Freddy, and it's, like he just left Nightmare and then just. Uh, slam him into the rock and then and I was in production just stab him in the chest and then that's it <laughs> and it, I was just like oh okay <laughs> we're done here apparently because I thought it's gonna be continued because I know season 5 is coming technically but even though I think season 4 it seems like this one is already wrapping up all the kind of stuff but and they're going back to the portal obviously but at the same time we don't we don't exactly know what happens after they went to the portal are they gonna go back to the to their actual dimension or universe or are they gonna Ending up in the different universe again. I don't know. Um, but at the same time, I kind of get it why Phenomenal Storm Production probably not wanting to do like entire season five with the whole world is on darkness and all that kind of stuff. Maybe because it's gonna be um, too similar to you know Zanxi Three Seven in some way. Because yeah, it was kind of similar when the world is the world is actually going dark and there's dark. I guess I'm assuming there was cloud or something like that. Um, 
around the, the cities or the, the world i guess in some way um and just yeah <laughs> just in darkness you know and and i guess maybe he doesn't do it because it's gonna be too similar to zeng 37 and this fight scene alone is already obviously it's inspired by zeng 37 like this one is from ms production that holds the sword and then there's gonna be sword fight between um uh, obviously between him and Nap uh, nightmare while in Zenith 37 is obviously Tojika, and we don't even get to that point yet. <laughs> There's still a long time to go in that episode, but... Anyway, I pretty much enjoyed it, you know, I think it's just... As a finale, I think it was too sudden, but at the same time, I still enjoyed it, you know. I kind of wish that the fight scene... The fight scene was long, I get it, and, and I really like that, but I feel like the ending was too sudden, like... Ending with Shadow Freddy just lift... Nightmare, just slam them in the... <laughs> in the rock, and then, uh, you know, FNAF and production just stab him in the chest. And then, I, and then that's it, it was the end. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, that was very sudden. <laughs> um, I kind of wish the fight scene was a lot... Um, I guess uh, I was just expecting a lot more longer in some way. I know this is long long enough, so I probably shouldn't be too harsh on it. Um, I mean, I still enjoy it, you know, I, I still think the fight scene is great. Um, but I just think the ending was too sudden, you know. Um, and what do I think about season 4 as an overall? Um, I kind of agree that the first half of season four is not is not great. It's pretty confusing. I think the whole season is pretty confusing and sometimes pretty inconsistent in some way because you got Toichika suddenly turn evil and then you got Nightmare making a copy of Toichika and Mangle or an evil Toichika and evil Mangle, I guess. But nothing comes out of that, you know. That, and that's why I'm saying that sometimes the episode just built something but never actually finished it. You know, it seems like. Um, it seems like Final Fantasy Bros is probably struggling with the story in some capacity because it seems like he's trying to do something uh, on his own and try to do something epic obviously but at the end of the day it doesn't really work that well it just become confusing and uh, become you know inconsistent in some way so that's why I, I, now I get it why some people think season 4 is actually worse than season 3 um, at least season 1 and 3 even though they're very similar to Zen 37 at least they have structure in it um, in this one, the structure is all over the place, <laughs> you know. Even though for the most part, I, I still, I mean, I still enjoy the season, obviously, but I, I gotta say, I noticed the problem that that sometimes was pretty inconsistent. Uh, some plot point just like like Tojika becoming evil and nothing's come out of that, you know. Like I am, I was expecting that Tojika is gonna hurt his friend or um, yeah, her friend or something like that, you know, with Shadow Freddy. But apparently, no, nothing comes out of that, and which we found out in the part thirteen where. He suddenly, she suddenly say no, and she suddenly mad at Shadow Freddy for working for Nightmare, and I was like, I thought you turned evil, but okay, well, like, what, what was the point of that scene? <laughs> like, what was the point? I don't get it at all, you know, and, and it seems like everything is wrapped up too quickly in some way, because there is so many plot holes or plot points that doesn't really explore, you know, with Evil Tojika, and then the copies of Evil Tojika and Evil Mangle, maybe, maybe that's why there is season 5 to explain all of that, maybe, hopefully so. Uh, because if this was actually the final season, then, well, I guess it, as a finale, it's not really that great. It was epic, sure, the fight scene was great, um, I give you that, but I guess it's just too, f it's, it's too fast, you know, like, there's so many building plot points and all that kind of stuff throughout the season, and then in the end, it just wrap up everything so, so quickly. I think the pacing was all over the place in some way, um, and I get it why some people didn't like it, so I really hope that finale and production doesn't really... Um, I really hope that you didn't actually mad at me for <laughs> for saying this because you know I I gotta give you give you my um, honest opinion about this you know I can just like say just I like it because you're being too nice to me um, and sure I still I mean I still like the episode I still enjoy it I still entertained by it I give you that uh, but I gotta say the plot point was pretty messy the pacing was also mess uh, messy in some way um, the animation obviously is great I think it's great the voice is, the voice is great. The characters, well, I guess it's great, you know, these four teams, like Final Fantasy Production, PlayStation, Easy Week 70, uh, 78, and then Larry the Bunny was great as a team. Obviously, in the end, there was a really badass fight scene between them and Nightmare, I give you that. Um, but the story itself, it was pretty confusing, um, and it's, it seems like trying to introduce so many stuff, you know, introduce so many uh, plot points and characters arc or, or story arc, but that, that didn't really went anywhere about it because Tojika becoming evil that didn't wear anywhere uh, that didn't actually went you know anywhere that um, actually threatening to the character it seems like it's just there it just happens and then suddenly it resolves in the end I was like okay what's the point of that scene <laughs> you know and again maybe as maybe that's the point why season 5 exists maybe who knows 
Um, I'm assuming this one is exists because there is so many un unanswered questions in season four. But at the same time, it seems like a, a finale, yeah, like a grand finale for all of the animatronics. Even so, when we go to the portal, they might something bad might happen to them. I don't know. Um, I guess it's pretty ambiguous in some way. The ending, like when they go to the portal, like assuming that everything is end perfectly, but then again, we don't know where they're gonna go next. And maybe that's again, that's maybe why there's season five in it. And I'm really glad that it's not the last season because if this is the last season, then man, it's not gonna look good for the series at all. <laughs> Because so many plot points that went unanswered, uh, so many story arc that actually went nowhere, you know, it just like it just kind of happens and then it was resolved. Like there's no conflict at all, which is comes. I mean, conflict with the nightmare and the animatronics, sure there is, but I'm talking about Tojika like conflict there. Like there is nothing come out of that. Like it just happens and then it just ends. And then Shadow Freddy, um, just defeat nightmare just easily. You know, I was like, okay, <laughs> that was too sudden and. I don't know, I was expecting uh, at least more fight between Shadow Fairy and Nightmare will be um, nice, but at the same time, I know that, you know, animating stuff is not easy, and I think Haley was the one who did the battle right for this battle scene, so good job for Haley there, I think the battle was awesome. Um, I can't wish that the, there is more extended fight scene between Shadow Freddy and Tojika against Nightmare, that was really cool, before before Financial Impression stopped Nightmare in the chest, you know, because it seems like he just left Nightmare and just slammed him in the rock, and then... <laughs> He got stabbed, that's it, that's the end. And it was too sudden, that's all I'm saying. Um, and overall season 4 is, um, yeah, I mean, I still, um, I still entertained by it, obviously. Some episode was pretty good, but I gotta say it was messy. <laughs> it was really messy, and it was introducing so many stories that really went nowhere. It just, yeah, just messy, you know. The pacing is just completely messy, but, well, maybe not completely, but there is some messy. Uh, there is some pacing that actually went well, but there is also some pacing that went nowhere, you know. Uh, and it seems like FNAF and production and his team become the main characters now instead of the the actual FNAF characters. Which is, I mean, I'm cool with it. I think it was cool that all of these four characters. Um, I wish we can see more of them because it seems like they re they seems interesting. You know, I want to see the chemistry between them. That was really interesting to see. But I don't know. PlayStation PlayStation just dies. So, man. <laughs> And Golden Freddy apparently didn't die, so that was good. Um, he's still alive, maybe. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's my opinion about season four. It was, uh, I mean, I still enjoyed, but I gotta say, it was pretty mess. Um, and what do you guys think about uh, season four as an overall? I know some of you guys already answered this, but if some of you guys uh, um, still want to share your opinions, um, then please share your opinion, your opinion in the comment section below. I like to hear your opinion about season four as an overall. And what do you guys think about this battle right here? I think the battle is cool. Um, I just wish that the the ending was uh, a bit more fleshed out than, you know, suddenly just end. You know, the fight scene just end. I was like, yeah, that's pretty disappointing. But you know what? At least I enjoyed the <laughs> at least I enjoyed the battle scene. I was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the battle scene and what you guys think about season four. Let, let me know in the comment section below. I will obviously I will read them out. Obviously, um, well, some read them out, but just read them. You know, I'm just curious. You know, and I know a lot of you guys already answered my question basically about season four. Uh, but if if any of you guys um haven't you know shared your opinions about season four or you know or you know the entire series as an overall, then if you guys want to share your opinions in the comment section below, then leave your comments and I will read them obviously. Um, and because I'm curious what you guys think about this whole season, you know. And I know some of you guys already answered them, but I'm talking about if any anybody just still want to share their opinion, um, just share them if you want to. I will read them obviously. And um, and for FNAF season production, I think this season was um. I think it was pretty uh, okay. I think, but I guess like I said before, it was a mess. Um, so I really hope that you didn't actually. <laughs> I hope you didn't actually mad or angry at me for saying this because you know at the end of the day, I still respect your work. I think your work is um, is great. I think for the animation, the voice, I think it was great, and you come up with this um characters and all that kind of stuff, and all and the end they together as nightmare i just wish that this whole season was built upon these characters then because this character seems interesting like all of them seems interesting and then i know they've have some production characters basically fox's brother and apparently he was supposed to be dead but obviously because of the multiverse and time travel thing he's still alive now and i know it's pretty confusing but that's the thing about time travel and multiverse you know it's always confusing uh, but i kind of wish that we get to see more of them i can wish the i kind of wish now that the series is more focusing on these four characters, you know, instead of just focusing on the the normal, um, you know, FNAF 
animatronics characters from the FNAF games, you know. Um, because all of these four characters seems pretty interesting. And they both seems like a brothers in the end. Like brothers, like maybe not literally, but they, they're so close as a friend. And that's why I call them brothers. Seems like it, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Um, but still, I have high respect for FNAF and production and KDSFM and everybody who involved on making this series. And Haley for the battle scene was great. Uh, respect for you, man. Um, and yeah, I just really hope that you can improve upon this in, in terms of story and um, pacing. And maybe in maybe season 5 is going to be the official last one. And maybe you're going to try to uh, make some new series. And I know it's not easy, but... I think creating some new series that it doesn't have to always to be an epic series. You could just create a small series then. People are still gonna appreciate that, you know, just saying. Instead of just like going um, epic in the beginning and I guess that's what you want, but I gotta say season 4 is a mess. <laughs> Sorry, I still enjoy it, but it's a mess. Um, but anyway, stay high respect for you guys uh, who make this video. And um, if you guys want to watch the original video, then I will leave a link in the description below. As always, make sure you to check FNAF S7 production channel. I subscribe to to him because again um, I know that some people then didn't, re didn't really like season 4 some people said it was a mess and it was um, season 3 was better than season 4 and I'll say I can agree on that now <laughs> since I finished the, the whole season um, but still don't don't be too harsh on FNAF 7 production and I heard that apparently KDSFM is not exactly uh, FNAF 7 production is not exactly uh, limiting KDSFM work like he's still letting him letting her you know, obviously improve the story in some way. Um, so there is stop stop the drama, okay? Uh, I was confirmed by FNAF and production that he never actually um being like um controlling KSFM completely. He just he just trying to help, which grateful for that. Um, so stop the stop the drama, guys, please. <laughs> About you know FNAF FM production is not helping or it's not letting KSFM to helping him or improving the story. Um, apparently that's not true at all. So stop the drama. Um. And yeah, make sure you guys check out the SFM channel as always. I will leave the link, both channels link in the description below as always. And season 5 is already coming out. I think the first episode is already coming out. And then KDSFM also released an episode, I think. I could be wrong. I think he she just released an episode. So I, I, I will try to check them out. And um and yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. And again, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Share this video to your friends or family, the usual. And if you guys decide to subscribe to my channel, then don't forget to ring the notification bell so you guys can get notified uh, when I'm gonna upload the next video and um, yeah man I think that's it for today's video guys again don't be too harsh of an episode production uh, please be respectful if you actually didn't like the season yeah, sure be honest with it uh, say that you didn't like the season but um, but please do not be too harsh on FNAF and production because obviously he's still learning he's still trying to improve so we just support him you know and wish him the best that's all we need to do um, just be respectful and um and yeah, I think that's it for this for today's video, guys. And again, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye.